We are going to see how to do mental math to convert fractions to decimals. We already know how to do this conversion when the denominator is something like 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. What we do in such cases is that we look at the number of zeros in the denominator and we start from the right side and we hop over those many digits in the numerator and write the decimal point. But what should we do when the denominator is not like 10, 100 or 1000? In that case, we make the denominator something like that, something like 10 or 100 or 1000. We make the denominator easy for the conversion. For example, 2 over 5, what you can do is you can multiply the denominator by 2 to make it 10. And when you multiply the denominator, you multiply the numerator also. That means we get 4 over 10, which is 0.4. If the fraction is 17 over 20, you make the denominator 100. So multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5. So you get 85 over 100, which is 0.85. You can do all these calculations in your mind. The next example is 27 over 40. Now in this case, 100 is not divisible by 40. So I cannot multiply 40 by some number and get 100. But 100 is divisible by 20. So let's try to make the denominator 20 first. So if you divide the denominator and the numerator by 2, we will get 13.5 over 20. When you divide 27 by 2, 13 twos are 26, that means 13.5 twos are 27. Now that our denominator is 20, let's multiply by 5. So we get 67.5 over 100. 13 fives are 65 and 0.5 multiplied by 5 gives us 2.5. So our answer is 0 0.675. Now let's go over some common fractions and their decimals. 1 over 2 or 1 half is 0.5. 1 over 4 which is a quarter is half of half that means 0.25. 1 over 5. 1 over 5 is equivalent to 2 over 10 that means it is 0.2. And 1 over 8. Now 1 over 8 is half of 1 over 4. 1 over 4 is 0 0.25. Now rather than making half of 25, let me change this decimal to 0 0.250. Half of 250 is 125. That means 1 over 8 is 0 0.125. All these fractions and their decimals are very common. So if you practice enough, you'll remember this. Once you know these fractions, these fractions will help you to convert other fractions to decimals. Let's see how we can use this. Suppose you have to convert 4 over 5. Now one way to convert is make the denominator 10. Other way to do this is you know that 1 over 5 is 0.2. That means 4 over 5 is 4 times of 0 0.2 which is 0 0.8. The next one is 3 over 8. Now you know that 1 over 8 is 0 0.125. 3 times of that is 3 over 8. So 3 times of 125 is 375. That means this fraction is equal to 0 0.375. If you practice enough, it will get easier and easier. 